G'day to all you actual and would-be La Pavone aficionados. My name is Glenn Thompson. So that you can see who I am, I've placed a photograph of myself on the bottom right of the screen. Now, as you can see, the title of this video is Understanding So-Called False Boiler Pressure in La Pavone Lever Espresso Machines. The background to this video is that I recently acquired my first La Pavone, and it and its several quirks have awakened me to the fact that for the past 30 years I was ignorantly mistaken in believing that I was making good espresso coffee when I lifted the group handle on my several previous good quality pump operated espresso machines. I have to say that I am now enamoured with my La Pavone and I am firmly in the would-be La Pavone aficionado camp. Okay, so now on to discuss this so-called false pressure. Now, so that we all understand what I'm talking about, I will play a short video of my La Pavone exhibiting this so-called false pressure. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, I have, as best as I can, placed a close-up of my boiler pressure gauge on the lower left of the screen. Now, as you can see on the screen now, in this video, the green ready light is on and the boiler pressure gauge is showing about one bar of pressure. Okay, so now I will open the steam valve. And if you listen closely, you will hear a puny little hiss while the so-called false pressure is released through the steam wand and you will see that the pressure gauge immediately goes down to zero, which is in fact ambient atmospheric air pressure. Now, just in case you missed it, I will quickly replay that little clip. Okay, now the first point I'm going to make is that in this universe there is no such thing as false pressure. Pressure is pressure is pressure. However, in the case which I've just demonstrated, we clearly did not have any steam pressure in the La Pavone boiler. We instead had pressure arising from other sources. Now, to understand what is occurring, we must look at the actual operation of La Pavone lever machines. Now, this discussion only relates to those machines which have a so-called pressure stat, which switches the heating element off when a predetermined boiler pressure is reached, and which switches the element on again once the boiler pressure falls to or below a predetermined lower boiler pressure. This discussion does not relate to earlier machines which do not have such a pressure switch. Now, the La, the La Pavone machines, such as mine, are advertised as having a 1.6 litre boiler, whereas the fact is that 1.6 litres of water fills the boiler to the brim. So the fact is that if you're like me, you fill the boiler to just above the top level of the side glass. This in fact provides about 1.4 litres of water and leaves about 200 millilitres of airspace above the water line. Now, when you switch the machine on, three things occur and the combined effect of those three things gives rise to the so-called false pressure. Now, the first of these things is that water expands with temperature. And when heated from room temperature of, say, 25 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, its volume increases by 4%. So the 1.4 litres of water expands by 56 millilitres. Now, the critical effect here is that the airspace above the waterline is reduced by that 56 millilitres. So the original airspace is reduced by more than 25%.
That large reduction in airspace causes a rise in boiler pressure. The second thing which occurs is that air also expands with temperature and between room temperature and 100 degrees Celsius the air expands by 25% so that by the time the boiler temperature has reached near 100 degrees Celsius you have 250 millilitres of air which is trapped within the airspace which has been reduced by the expanding water. The third thing which happens is that while heating, a very small portion of the water is caused to evaporate into steam. Now steam has a volume of 1,700 times the volume of water which has evaporated. So the combined effect of those three things is to cause the boiler pressure to increase to the predetermined maximum pressure before the water has reached its sea level boiling temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. This results in the heating element being switched off before the water has reached its sea level boiling temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. So when you open the steam valve for the first time after switch on, a very small volume of hot air and a little, little steam escapes before the boiler pressure is reduced to ambient pressure. Once having the boiler pressure reduced, the heating element is switched on again, but on this occasion the water and the remaining air have already expanded so that the next rise in boiler pressure is entirely due to the water boiling at and above 100 degrees Celsius. Now, of course, the boiling temperature of water increases with pressure, so that when you again open the steam valve and release some of the boiler pressure, the already overheated water immediately boils and releases high volumes of steam. In addition, after a small volume of steam is released, the heating element is also switched on, and thereby maintains the water temperature and high boiler pressure while the steam is escaping. Now this so-called false pressure, which I have just demonstrated and discussed, is also present to a lesser degree when the boiler is only part filled before you switch on. In such circumstances, you might see that the pressure gauge does not reduce to zero and a less than op optimal pressure of steam is available. Finally, I must point out that the La Pavone pressure gauge gauges are misleading. Ambient pressure is in fact one bar, and when the La, Pav La Pavone pressure gauge reads one bar, that is in fact two bars, or one bar above ambient. Okay, my fellow La Pavone owners and prospective owners, I hope that the foregoing has explained the apparently mis misunderstood La Pavone quirk of so-called false pressure. Finally, I must say that this is not a design flaw. It is simply a quirk which needs to be understood. I absolutely cherish and appreciate my La Pavone I intend to practice several times a day in the hope of becoming an aficionado in about 10 years' time. In the near future, I intend to make further videos which address the several other quirks which, makes, which make the La Pavone such a unique machine. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like and share my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. The End